What excites me about CTV, I think from a consumer perspective, it's, it's great. We have choices across the ecosystem to really get to content uh, that we, that we want to watch, when we want to watch it. I think so from a consumer perspective, it's great. From an advertiser perspective, it's just allowing us to leverage data and technology and more effective ways to reach uh, our target audiences. So I think both from a consumer perspective as well as from an advertiser perspective, kind of everybody wins. So what's going on at CTV Advertising? Well, it is, there's a lot going on right now. I think that we are seeing a ton of fragmentation. Uh, we're seeing a ton of uses of technology. We're seeing the, you know, I think the advent of, of programmatic within that CTV space. So I think it's a, it's a very exciting time, but it's also a time of confusion, I think, from, a, from an advertiser perspective, as well as even from a consumer perspective of where do they get the content that they want to watch. So talk about reach and frequency optimization. How does addressability help marketers achieve this? Reach and frequency optimization has probably been the biggest change that I've seen uh, over the last you know, few years as far as addressability is go goes, especially as it relates into linear TV space. So for years, people were, you know, TV is always kind of oversaturated heavy TV viewers, uh, but there was nothing that brands could do about it. They were looking for they were trying to deliver obviously a certain level of reach and they could get to that reach but they didn't necessarily know how they were getting to that reach because certain people were getting viewing the ads significantly more than others reach frequency optimization is just allowing addressable technology to uh, reach more evenly deliver impressions to advertisers or to, to consumers and uh, but also allowing advertisers to drive incremental reach how are advertisers navigating a fragmented landscape I think it is completely fragmented, and we know that from a, from a consumer perspective as well as from an advertiser perspective. I think what, at DirecTV, what we're trying to do from a consumer perspective is make it a little simpler. You know, we, you think of a, a Netflix or an HBO Max as really competitors to a linear TV service. I think traditionally that would be the thought, but we don't see it that way. We see those are our partners, right? So at DirecTV, from a consumer perspective, what we're bringing to the marketplace is really more of an aggregated solution for uh, for consumers. So you can get into, into the DirecTV service, you can watch live TV, but you can seamlessly then go to your streaming apps that we know everyone obviously has and loves. Um, I think from an advertiser perspective, that same idea of fragmentation, we are allowing for addressability, allowing for uh, targeted advertising, reaching that consumer when and where they're engaging with that content. So it's less about the idea that you buy a show and you hope your audience is watching, what addressability allows you to do is you buy an audience, really re reach them regardless of what they're watching, which allows for you know, huge advantages both from a, from a brand and an agency perspective. Talk about the value of live TV. Live TV is still a really premium place where brands can reach consumers. Uh, I think if we all know that there's huge value and obviously the streaming services that we all know and love, but a huge majority of consumers that are watching those streaming services are not getting advertising on them. So I can tell you in my household where I have all those streaming services, but the only places you can reach me is through direct TV. And I think that what, but, but live, I think has always, has continues to evolve with technology. I think addressable technology is allowing brands to come into live TV in a way that allows them to target and measure effectively, which is what everyone's striving for.